You've been watching self-improvement videos for a couple of months or even years. Yet you're still at the same position, you even rewatch the same exact video yet nothing changes. Is it the self-improver who's the fraud or is it the little weirdo that stares at his screen all day? Yo it's for example, today I want to address a huge problem that a lot of us are going through, and that I went through myself. A lot of us love watching self-improvement videos more than even normal brain-dead entertainment videos, we learn a lot of new things that help change our lives. Yet time passes and nothing seems to happen. Why? There are six main reasons. Lack of implementation. Lack of consistency. Unrealistic implementation. 100% or nothing. Individual differences. Resistance to change. We will be watching a video on how to change our lives, finish the video. Then just click to the next one. But none of that poopy pants stuff, here are 5 steps to actually use these self-improvements videos you watch. Step 1, take notes and reflect. The first key to implementing the knowledge you gain from self-improvement videos is to actively engage with the content. Research shows that taking notes while you watch or listen helps you retain information better. Write down the key points, quotes, or exercises that resonate with you. This not only reinforces the information in your mind but also gives you something to refer back to later. After watching the video, take a few moments to reflect on what you've learned. Studies have shown that reflection enhances learning and promotes deeper understanding. Journal questions like, how does this information apply to my life, or what are the areas I want to improve upon? This reflection helps you personalize the knowledge and make it relevant to your specific circumstances. You can't just watch something once then become a master, make notes, and reread them all the time. Step 2. Harness the power of visualization and affirmations. Visualization and affirmations are powerful techniques that can help you implement the knowledge gained from self-improvement videos. Visualization involves creating vivid mental images of yourself successfully applying the techniques or embodying the qualities you've learned. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing yourself confidently using the newfound knowledge in real-life situations. Feel the emotions associated with that success. Visualization can strengthen your belief in your abilities and help overcome any doubts or obstacles along the way. Affirmations are positive statements that reinforce the desired behavior or mindset. Create affirmations related to the knowledge you've gained and repeat them to yourself daily. For example, if you learned about assertive communication, your affirmation could be, I confidently express my needs and boundaries with clarity and respect. Affirmations can help rewire your subconscious mind and reinforce the implementation of the new knowledge. To further acquire this skill, read the book, Psycho-Cybernetics. Step 3. Embrace the power of microhabits. Microhabits are small, easy to implement actions that serve as building blocks for larger behavioral changes. Instead of trying to overhaul your entire routine at once, focus on incorporating tiny habits related to the knowledge you've gained. Research shows that starting small increases the likelihood of success and sustainability. For example, if you want to cultivate a reading habit, start by committing to reading just 5 minutes a day. Gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable. By starting with a microhabit, you're making it easier to stick with the new behavior and build momentum over time. A lot of you guys will start meditating for two hours thinking you'll be monks by the end of it. But that's not how it works. Little by little, step by step. Step 4. Utilize the power of implementation intentions and environment design. Implementation intentions, as mentioned before, are a powerful psychological technique that helps bridge the gap between intention and action. After watching a self-improvement video, create a specific plan for when, where, and how you will implement the new knowledge. For example, if you want to start a daily gratitude practice, you could say, every evening, before going to bed, I will write down three things I'm grateful for in my gratitude journal. By clearly stating your plan, you're more likely to follow through with the intended action. Environment design, also known as, choice architecture, involves structuring your environment to make desired behaviors more convenient and undesirable behaviors less accessible. Apply this concept to support the implementation of your newfound knowledge. For instance, if you want to eat healthier, organize your kitchen so that nutritious foods are easily visible and accessible, while unhealthy snacks are tucked away or replaced with healthier alternatives. By shaping your environment, you reduce the likelihood of falling into old patterns and make it easier to stick to the changes you want to implement. If you want to drink more water and there's a 5L water bottle on your table, you might actually drink some water shockingly. Step 5. Seek accountability and support. 
Implementing self-improvement knowledge can sometimes be challenging, but you don't have to do it alone. Research has shown that having accountability and support greatly increases the likelihood of success. Share your goals and progress with a friend, family member, or a like-minded community. They can provide encouragement, hold you accountable, and offer valuable insights. Additionally, consider finding a mentor or coach who can guide you through the implementation process. They can provide expert advice, personalized strategies, and hold you to a higher standard. Having someone in your corner can make a significant difference in your journey towards self-improvement. Remember, implementing the knowledge you gain from self-improvement videos is a continuous process. It requires consistent effort, experimentation, and an open mind. Keep exploring different methods and strategies to find what works best for you. And don't be discouraged by setbacks or challenges along the way. Each step you take towards implementing the knowledge is a step towards personal growth and transformation. Thank you for joining me today. If you made it to the end of the video, I'll let you know that I am offering one-on-one -on -one coaching services in my YouTube membership if you're interested. And that's it, see you guys.